Hello and welcome to my Heroes of the Storm Hero Spotlight. Today we'll be featuring the hero Savannah Windrunner, or known as Savannah Windrunner the Banshee Queen. Savannah Windrunner is a ranged specialist, which means she is a versatile character that can be played in any different kind of role. If you want a split pusher, a damage carrier, or some sort of su support. I don't really see too many support uh, Savannahs, but I have known that people can do it. So I'm showing off her talents as of right now. I'm not going to show off the talents in this video, but if you want, I can show what each one does in a separate video, being more in depth. Victory for the Forsaken. So the first ability that we're going to be showing off is her passive, known as a trait. Her trait called Black Arrow. Anytime your abilities or auto attacks hits a fortress, a tower, or a minion, it subdues it for a split second. You can upgrade it when your uh, talents to make it be passive for two seconds. If you combine your passive with your Q, it actually does a pretty good amount of damage and is good for wave clearing and split pushing. Her Q, called Withering Fire, shoots an arrow at the closest enemy. It gains a charge every time the enemy is killed. So it's pretty good split pushing as you can see. Savannah has a huge capability of taking down minions and uh, towers and all that by herself with her passive mixed with her Q. As you can see, you can take down these four minions if you can do it properly by maneuvering your mouse and clicking and maxing out your key when knowing how to do it. You can take out many mercenary camps by yourself without any aid. Obviously in the video, as you can probably see soon, I have Lulu, uh, not Lulu, Lily coming in here helping me out because we have to, we have to take out the Chamblers to do the objective, but I could have easily taken it out by myself. Her W, called Shadow Dagger, allows you to fire off a dagger that spreads a plague to enemies nearby. It, the plague's pretty much your passive. You can use that, the Shadow Dagger, to spread your passive to many enemies, towers, or minions, therefore allowing for a higher split push capability. Her E, called Haunting Wave, shoots out a wave of banshees that she can control. User well, control in a way. Basically, once she shoots it off, you can hit E again, and it teleports you to the nearby location, as you can see as I zoom in whenever I use it. You can use it for positioning in many different ways, escaping or catching prey. Her first ultimate, Wailing Arrow, allows you to shoot an explosive arrow. You can hit R again to cause it to explode prematurely. It damages and silences anyone in its proximity. Her second ultimate, called Possession, is used to possess enemy NPCs or mercenaries. It has a pretty low cooldown, so it's easy to use. Now, as you can see here, I'm just showcasing Savannah's split push capabilities mixed with all of her abilities. By using your Shadow Dagger, you can bounce off your passive to the towers, the gates, and the minions, while utilizing your Q to do maximum damage. Then you can use your E if you really want to do some extra damage to the minions anywhere from in front or behind you, and just keep firing off with your Qs and using your Shadow Dagger. As you can see, she is pretty fun and pretty easy to play. She has a high damage output, a fast wave clear, and a pretty easy split push capability. I definitely recommend her to new players of Heroes of the Storm, and I definitely recommend you should buy her. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my Hero Spotlight.